What happened? So Brad White calls me on my phone and says, "Hey, get over here to the parking lot. Meet me on the west side of the in the parking lot. I need you to do something right now." And I'm like, "Okay." So I drive over there, and he's like standing out there pacing like Brad does, and and he's like, "I need you to go over to the store and get some of that stuff you girls put all over your face." And I. <laughs> <laughs> What What's are you talking about? What's that stuff lotion? called? <laughs> and he's like, no, that stuff, that base stuff that you put on your face. And I'm like, oh, foundation, makeup? And he's like, yeah. And I go, so what color? And he goes, what do you mean what color? And I go, well, it comes in colors, like like my color? And he goes, no, white. And I go, okay, white. And he goes, white, like blonde white, like a blonde white. And I go, okay. So I go, and I... And I I don't know what it's for, so I pick up like the cheap stuff because it gives me five bucks. So it's Noxzema and it's CoverGirl and it has Noxzema in it, and so um, which is important later in the story. So I go back and he's waiting for me and he says, "Hey, go to this room, knock on the door three times, and then wait, and then knock three times, and they'll let you in." <laughs> okay, so the I knock. go the knock. knock on the door. These uh, <clears throat> big boys answer the door and they they're in like hospital whites. And I'm like, what the hell? And they pat me down. Excuse me? Ask me what's in they the bags. Pat, pat you down? Yes. And I still don't know who I'm going in to see yet. <laughs> so, uh, to make sure that I don't have any drugs or alcohol on me is what they're... Because the guy was trying to be clean. So, I go in and... Trying. Steven Adler comes out of the bathroom, the drummer oh, for Guns N' Roses. Oh, Steven Adler. And he, his face is burnt up. Like, his whole face is, like, burnt up. And he's like whining about, can you brush my hair? Can you brush my hair? <laughs> so I'm brushing his hair, and he says, did you bring the makeup? And I said, yeah, I brought the makeup. What do you What do you need makeup for? And he's he goes, oh, I've had an accident, and I need to cover this. I need to cover this up. And so he'd had a crack pipe accident and burned it like to his face. So <laughs> yeah, instead of smoking skin, the side that's not hot, he burned his face. He burned his face to one that was hot. So, and then, then he made a complete fool of himself out there at the show when he's just supposed to be a star guest. Yeah. Did you drive with me from Durant yes, to there? Yes, I had Janie Lane with yeah. me. Yeah. Well, hold on. Did you did you apply the makeup for so, him? So, um, I said, well, you, I said, you can't, like, that's a fresh burn. Like, I go, when did you do that? He said, <laughs> about eight hours ago. That's why I was late. I missed my plane. Remember, he missed his plane. Right. He was late getting there. Because so, he was smoking crack. Yeah. I try to tell him that he can't most put this. Are missed. Uh, I, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm trying to tell him that he can't put this makeup on there, and he and he's and I and I say I'm not I, I'm not going to do it for you. I don't want to touch that. I don't want to touch your skin. Like I don't want to touch that burn. He didn't want to touch the shaker store. So um, yeah, I'm not touching that. <laughs> You're Steven Adler. That's where the runner job draws a line. I already combed his hair. I got tennis shots in the road case. It's fine. Yeah. So anyway, I said, why don't we? Why don't you wear a bandana? Like just wear a bandana over your face. And so that's what he ended up doing. But uh, he did go and act a fool out on the on the drum set because he got he got booze somewhere, probably from Faster Pussycat.